What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay from Brother Cousins Toy Reviews, and today I'll be talking about San Diego Comic Con 2020 Toy Fair exclusive by Hot Toys. Yes, we all know with the world pandemic happening that a lot of shows and a lot of live events will not be happening this year. Well, they'll be happening, but not in person. It's going to be more of an online thing. So in that tradition, Hot Toys will be still doing their 2020 Toy Fair exclusives. Um, it's going to be great. A lot of these figures look, well, two of these figures look okay. The other two look like, meh. So we're going to go through them today. Start off, what you see on the screen right here is the 2020 Toy Fair Iron Man. Iron Man Mark IV, and I don't like it. It looks cheap. It's supposed to be like this whole see-through thing, but this shot looks cool. But if you go through the rest of the shots, it just looks like, ugh. It looks cheap. I mean, I like die-cast Iron Man figures. It's like once you win die-cast, you don't go back. If you have an Iron Man figure, an Iron Man Hot Toys figure in your collection, and they're plastic, and when you go from the plastic to the die-cast, I'm telling you, there's no one there's no going back at all <laughs> i'm gonna tell you so this is kind of like a step back to me i know it's supposed to be translucent and it's supposed to look cool i think the yellow translucent right there definitely looks better than in the red sections right here um so yeah take that for you know what it's worth i mean yeah i'm not feeling this i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling it at all man this is yeah yeah it's it's okay, you know, <laughs> it's okay, it's, you know, it's not, I don't think it's one, gonna be, uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be uh, one that's sought after, but who knows, these Iron Man figures are crazy, I mean, I've seen, you know, some figures that I would think that wouldn't sell, like, I didn't think the, uh, the uh, nanotech, uh, figures were any good but then they started being worth a lot of money like people was like breaking the bank to buy these things i think it's almost like seven hundred dollars or seven hundred to a thousand dollars i've seen on ebay jesus but yeah i mean if you're buying it to flip it go for it but i do find some of these iron man figures hard to flip especially in the days of the pandemic where you have people that don't have jobs and this you know or they do have jobs and they're being a little frugal with their money so they're not gonna just shell out you know seven hundred you know, to a thousand dollars for a figure. So you are gonna flip it, do it. You know, more power to you. But I think this is a not. I think this is a not cop. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move over to the second figure right here. This is Whiplash uh, from Iron Man Two, and I gotta say, I love Mickey Rourke. I love this character in the movie. I know some people didn't, but I, I love Iron Man Two. I think it was great. This is just a reissue and a cash grab. I mean, they didn't do anything new. No new head sculpt. The pants are still like brown when they should be. I believe they should be like orange, but I guess they can. You can still say they're orange. You know, they're just burnt or whatever. You could make that claim if you want to. But this is like it comes with nothing. You know, it's the same figure that they released years ago. I mean, no new head sculpt. I mean, if you have the, if you have this Iron Man figure here, if you have, I forget what suit that is, but I know that's the suit. There's been so many Iron Man figures. I don't, I can't, you know, I lose track of the numbers and in, in the mock in the marks. But uh, if you have this one here, um, I call it the suitcase suit. <laughs> if you have the suit, if you have the suitcase suit, yeah, you may want to get this guy. But I mean. It's the same damn figure. They didn't do anything different. Nothing is updated. Um, it looks like Hot Toys from twenty from 2010, 2011, which they were good, but, you know, nowhere compared to what they're doing today. I mean, they made a lot of innovations on face sculpts and paint applications. And I'm sorry, I just don't see it with this. Even though this was a good sculpt, I mean... I mean, that ain't nobody else but Mickey Rourke, you know, in as that character in the movie. I mean, look at that. I mean, yeah, that's him. But I still think they could do way better today. Like I said, this is almost old school and it's a cash grab. And it's nothing new. No new accessories, no nothing. It's just, yeah. I mean, if you want to add them to your collection, it's a good time to add them. I mean, I don't see why. But like I said, if you have that Iron Man uh, figure... And you want to 
make him a part of your collection is a good way to do it today. Because we all know everything that's like old. They got, they got so many damn pictures of them. I mean, yeah, this circuitry, yeah, that looks good, but it's, yeah, it's old. Well, right here, this is the only new thing it comes with. I call that Determinator, the Terminator base, <laughs> which is the same base they used on Iron Man Marks, the new diecast Iron Man Mark 7. And I think they used it on, I think they used this base on the Batman figures. Well, they didn't have the street base, but with the street base, yeah, it's the Terminator. It's the Terminator base. I mean, so lazy. It didn't get the lights right here that don't light up. At least with the Batman, the Batman, when they gave it to Batman and uh, they gave this base to Batman and Joker back in the day, actual lights was in it that lit up, you know. And they also gave that base to the, uh, they gave it to a lot of DX figures, Matt, now that I think about it. They gave it to the uh, Terminator. It was all on the Terminator line, especially the Terminator DX, which is one of the greatest hot toys ever made. But it, like I said, back then, the lights work. The lights don't even work in this. So why even, like, just change the damn base? I'm being cheap, I toys. Damn, y'all get all the money. Y'all get all our money anyway, these expensive-ass figures. I hate to see people charge people all this money for these figures and cut corners. Sorry for the rant. Let's move on. All right, here. This would probably be a cop. Yes. Spider-Man 20, uh, 2099 suit. This is from the video game uh, and also from the comics. But, you know, they pulled a lot of stuff from the comics into the new Sony uh, Spider-Man video game. If you haven't played that game, I don't know what you're doing. Stop playing Last of Us. Stop playing anything and play that. That game, probably the funnest Spider-Man game ever. Um, but this suit looks great. I mean, this looks like, I mean, it's awesome. I really think this is awesome. Now, personally, I don't think I'll be buying this figure. I don't collect any of the Spider-Man uh, video game figures, but if you collect them, I mean, this is definitely a must-cop suit. This is a great figure, by the way. I mean, if somebody was to give it to me for free, it would, I would gladly add it to my collection or flip it. Who knows? But anyway, this is a good figure. Really good figure. All the red details right there. I mean, looks comic book and video game accurate. Looks great. I wonder if does it come with any other accessories. It's probably not gonna come. It'll probably come with the same shit that all the Spider-Man figures come with. The webbings, the same webbings. Yeah, there you go. The same webbings. Yeah, that looks that that, that looks great. That looks great. Um, I think this looks like this is using the same suit that the advanced suit Spidey from that video game, uh, from the Spider-Man video game, the, the recent release. I think it's using the same suit, which I hear that suit is really good for like dynamic posing. So, yeah, it creases, but it doesn't crease as much. But it looks great. I mean, this looks really good. But like I said, myself, I don't think I'm going to copy. But I can understand if somebody would. That looks awesome. Looks great. Looks great. Oh, yeah. That's just the intense. It's just such a elaborate and just threatening costume. I mean, he really looks like a spider, like a like some type of Black Widow spider, uh, some type of deadly venomous spider. He just really looks like that in this costume. Yep, so you see all it comes with. They kill me when they show, like, in the accessories panel right here, they show pieces of the costume. <laughs> They're like, you don't get accessories, but look how cool the costume looks. That's so funny. Uh, bunch of hand, base, webbing. Yeah, like I said, webbings, hands. Look like a pieces of web shooters right there. The back... Kind of, this is not too flattering in the back. I think they could have added, well, I think that's how the costume is in the comic books. So you got these seams right here. The seams are cool. They're cool. Um, they're not distracting me too much, but uh, it's a, it is a little plain in the back. But uh, anyway, real good, real good figure. I understand if you would get it. Moving along. This guy right here for me is a must cop. Yes, Stan the Man Lee. From Thor Ragnarok. Oh my God, the nutty, bar, the nutty, uh, psychedelic space barbara. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is gonna be cool. Oh yes, and uh, uh, the blades extend. Well, it looked like it's just an extra piece they add on there. I can't wait to get this figure. I love the costume. I know some people say, "Oh, the costume looks kind of plain." I'm like, this is how he looked in the movie, and it's a Stan Lee cameo figure. I mean, it looks. Look at the boots. Look at the pants. I love. I kind of like like the Krennic figure I just got. Um, director Krennic from uh Star Wars. 
I love figures that just some figures that are just plain, like all the Iron Man and all the hoopla. These characters, the robotic characters, are cool. But when you get some good tailoring, it's just amazing. It's just like this is what a figure collecting is all about, and this figure looks highly tailored very well, from the boots to the trousers to the little smock that he's wearing with this robotic piece. I didn't even notice this little back piece he had on in the movie. I love the glasses. The face sculpt, I do, I am kind of having a problem with it because it looks like the same face sculpt from the Moon Man Watcher, uh, Stan Lee release from last year. Um, and let me take a look real quick. Let me see. I'm looking at my own personal Stan Lee figure. Um, the first one, the first release in his plain clothes. In his plain clothes. Um, and the, yeah, it, this sculpt does look different. I think it is a different sculpt, but I do think it's the one from last year's Moon Man. Can't confirm that just yet, but um, let me know in the comments. Glasses look dope. I love it. I love the little robotic scissor hand. I mean, he's cool. You see Stan's wedding band. That's awesome. You know, Stan, I met Stan before, and um, Stan always wore like a lot of, he always had like a lot of rings, and he had his wedding band. I think he had another ring on his finger. He had, it's awesome. It's just great detailing. Look at that. That is so cool. I love these space glasses. I think I already said that, but it, it looks cool. Just awesome. Just awesome. This is a must cop. I mean, if you don't have a Stanley figure, get it. You know, this is your, your chance to get it. And it looks like you're going to be doing all of Stan's biggest cameos. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I do wish they had another head sculpt that came with him, that, that came with this figure, that made him look a little bit uh demented because he was real you know he was real kind of creepy in that scene you know <laughs> oh man that looks cool yeah this is a must cop i think this is going to be the first one that sells out so if you're going to i think sideshow is going to be dropping a link uh i think today is friday so if you've seen this video late you missed it but i think today they're going to be dropping a link for all of these uh exclusives but you got to be pre-registered for uh, Sideshow's uh, booth. So go over to Sideshow, uh, SideshowToys.com and pre-register so you can, you know, have the first chance, first crack at these figures. Just did a commercial for Sideshow. Let's go back real quick. I was talking. Yes, they come with a piece of hair. That is going to be funny. And I like that. I think this is going to be my pose for them with the hair. That's just, that's just funny. <laughs> With Thor's Goldilocks. <laughs> oh man. Like I said, this is a great figure. This is this is the one I want. This is the one I want to buy. I'm probably gonna get two. Oh man, that looks great. Yes. So let's see, see all he comes with. We see that robotic robotic arm was painted really well. I like the little yeah, yellow lights and red light bits they have right there. It looks cool. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a good figure. Sorry, guys. This is good. All right, guys. Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. Y'all know my videos. I know I have a time speaking and being on camera at the same time. But anyway, guys, this is going to be it for this video. Please like, share, subscribe, bang that bell for notifications and all that good stuff. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what figures you're going to get, what exclusive you're going to get, which one looks the best to you. Are you going to get the whiplash? Are you going to get that boring ass Iron Man? You probably will because it's going to go up in value and everybody likes Iron Man. Or are you going to get uh, the 2099 Spider-Man or are you going to get Stan the Man? I'm getting Stan the Man. I suggest you do the same. Peace and love. Love you guys. Please be out there. If you're out there, stay safe, be happy, and keep on collecting. I'll see you guys next time.